What is up amigos? Today we have the aerodynamics of a microwave. And this microwave is in the configuration where the door is slightly open. So for example, maybe you're putting something into the microwave or you're checking if it's hot inside. So maybe you've put some soup into the microwave or some popcorn, or maybe you've taken something out and you forgot to close the door. All of these scenarios would result in this geometry of the microwave. And I think that you can have other geometries as well. Like you can have the door a bit more open, less open, completely closed. I think the completely closed configuration is people's most favorite, I think, because when you put the door open, like that little light stays on. So I think that's a bit annoying. But anyway, we have these sliced planes downstream, and I think you can tell from the wake already if the drag is going to be pretty bad. Let me know in the comments below before we go into it. So you can see that the wake is very chaotic and it moves around a lot. It's very dynamic, it's not static. Even at the third plane, which is like just at the end of the microwave, already the flow is bouncing around a lot. And even at the start of the first plane, you can see from the first um, edge, the flow had to separate around that edge because it's so sharp. And that's where we get like this little bubble around the front bit. So even though the microwave is flat up there, the flow is not attached yet because it had to separate over that front leading edge, which is so sharp. And these planes are the same one, but now with the sub drag plotted, and you can see that the drag is just very high, like it's around one for most of this wake. And just I'll give you one guess as to what the total drag option is. So just guess now. Okay, I'll tell you now. It's 0.8 Three. The total drag coefficient is 0 0.83. It's pretty bad. It's worse than like, it's like three times as bad as most cars. And that's probably because the edges are so sharp. If you were to cut off those edges a little bit, chamfer them or round them, it'd be a lot better. Also, let's not forget the door being open. That is going to increase the wake on this side. So you can see the microwave itself is actually symmetrical about the X and Y axes. But because the door is open, you can see the front part of this wake. So the part closest to us is now not really that circular. It's like got this bulge. That's right from the door there. And fun fact, we don't actually know who invented microwaves. So the earliest records we have is from the 1800s, actually, 1800s, not 1900s. And it's quite obscure because there was like this German Lord called uh, Kaiser Mikkelwaffer, who like he loved hot food, not, not spicy, but like warm food. So once he found the microwave, he adopted it as the patron saint of his region. And that's why it was named after him, Kaiser Mikkelwaffer. Microwave, microwave. That's where we get the microwave here. And this Y plane is cutting halfway through the microwave here. And the wake shows a very symmetrical um, aspect of it. So there is obviously the periodicity to it, which is because of a Montgomery Street of a bluff body. But you can see that the top half and bottom half, if you average them out, are quite similar. So from that, we can tell that the flow is probably going to not really be producing much lift at the microwave, I should say. And you'd be right if you were to assume that because the lift coefficient is 0 0.007. So it's pretty much a zero. The microwave is not producing any lift in this configuration. And this is a pretty cool plane. So it shows the sub drag, but it also shows what I was saying before, where like the wake, which is dominating this flow, which is then resulting in a lot of pressure drag. So most of this that we're seeing is the pressure drag, not the friction drag, not any induced drag or wave drag or whatever. It's mostly pressure drag that this sub drag is showing. And that's reflecting the wake. So what I was saying before, where the front, because it's so sharp and like it's so bluff at the front, the air comes, hits the front, has to just like spill over the sides in this really uncontrolled fashion. That results in this like bubble of wakeness around the microwave. And that's why we get such a big wake. And to show you just how big this wake is, now this is a plane, a wide plane, which is well away from the microwave. It's like about 10, 20 centimeters away from the microwave's end, like the, the rear face. And there's still a massive wake because that's all this air that had to detach over the microwave just to get around. And that's how big this wake is. That's why the drag is so great. So now we have a Z plane going through the midway section of the microwave. So we can see the damage that this door is doing to the wake. And you can see like, it's really cool. You have this recirculation zone just behind the door. And then if you peek inside where like you'd put your food, you can see there's a lot of wake in there as you'd expect. And then you have the rest of the wake from the microwave. So it's sort of like two halves of this wake, one half coming from the microwave itself, the other half coming from the, the door. And if you were to close this door, obviously you would make it more streamlined and probably drop the drag by 10, 20% perhaps. Get the static out. This sub drag plot shows the microwave door, even though it wasn't producing as much of a wake as the microwave itself. If you look at the sub drag, like the coloring, you can see that periodically there's like this red circle that just gets shed from there. That's a really high uh, zone of drag. So this microwave door, even though it's not producing as big a wake as the entire microwave, arguably it might be producing as much drag 
because you have a high concentration and just have greater pressure drag from it. So that's it in this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. And if you want to get better at CFD and or theory yourself, check out our course in the link description. And if you want to make your experiments two to four percent accurate, check out Mr. Hawk and should we make to make your experiments more accurate like that. The link to that in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, amigos.